I, Vinita Philip, Assistant Professor of Department of Electronics and Telecommunication Engineering, AISSMS, Institute of Information Technology, present my video on the topic Linear Filtering Using FFT. This is a very important topic pertaining to the subject Digital Signal Processing of ENTC Branch of Engineering. The process of linear filtering of long input sequence takes place as follows. Step number one is to make use of input buffer of suitable size to acquire the input signal data as we want to make use of FFT computation. Step number two, when the input buffer is full, transfer the data to the next buffer from where the data will be taken for processing. Step number three is to use the data from the second buffer for filtering and in the background let the input buffer be used for grabbing the next sample. Step number four is to allow the filtering operation to be completed when the input buffer is full again. This will then be termed as real-time processing. But it is not possible to do calculation for such long data sequence. This is because digital computer has limited memory. So long input data sequence is broken into smaller length sequence. The computation of each block is done separately. Then all the process blocks are fitted one after the other to get the final output. There are two fast convolution or fast filtering methods. They are overlap and add method and overlap and save method. In the first method, the long input data sequence is broken into blocks of size L. M represents the length of the impulse response. Each of the input subsequence is divided into blocks of data of size N where N is L plus M minus 1. Step 1 of this algorithm states that take L samples of data sequence X of N. Append M minus 1 extra zeros to each of the subsequence of data so that the length is L plus M minus 1. Step number 2 states that append L minus 1 extra zeros to the impulse response of the filter so that the length is L plus M minus 1. Step 3 is to convolve the two sequences circularly using FFT to get L plus M minus 1 point output. Step 4 is to repeat the steps 1 to 3 for all blocks. Note that if the last block is of shorter length, then extra zeros are to be appended. Step 5 is to accumulate the result by adding the overlapped M-1 samples of the convolved output for successive blocks. Here we are adding the overlapped samples of the result and hence the name of the algorithm is overlap and add algorithm. The next algorithm overlap and save algorithm. The long input data sequence is broken into blocks of size L. M represents the length of the impulse response. Each of the subsequence of the long input sequence is divided into blocks of size n which is equal to L plus M minus 1. The step 
one of this algorithm states that take L samples of the data sequence X of M. Append M minus 1 samples of the previous block to the start of the next block and so on. So that the length of each of the block will be L plus M minus 1. But for the first block, there are no previous blocks. Therefore, we append M minus 1 zeros at the start of this block. Step number 2 is to append L minus 1 extra zeros to the impulse response of the filter so that the length is L plus M minus 1. Step 3 is to convolve the two sequence directly using FFT to get L plus M minus 1 point output. Step 4 is to repeat steps 1 to 3 for all blocks. Step 5 is to accumulate the result by appending samples of the convolved output for successive blocks. Here in this algorithm, we are discarding the first m-1 samples from the result of every block. But we append the first m-1 samples of the first block at the end of the accumulated result by circularly shifting. We overlap the input data samples and save the rest of the non-overlapping result samples. Hence the algorithm is called overlap and save algorithm. That's all for now. In the consequent video, both these algorithms would be discussed by using numerical problems. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos on important concepts of digital signal processing. Thank you.